Grassfield. I want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as you know, I explained we are in the process of making sure that people around the country really realize why Lake County is such a beautiful area. And you have just established a stunning winery here, and we're so proud of that. And so I was hoping you could take a few minutes today and just explain to us why you chose, of all places, to build this beautiful winery in Lake County, California. Uh, well, thank you. First You're of welcome. all, thank you for being here and including me. Let's, uh, let's toast uh, Lake County, okay? Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> mm. It's good wine, mm. by the way. And, uh, Fantastic. well, let's see. Uh, why did I do this? Uh, I, I bought the property the first uh, 1,600 acres in 1973, and it was a cattle ranch. Okay. And my father was a cattle rancher, and so uh, I had following in his tradition, when I uh, was able, uh, I picked up this property. So that's Must where... Must have been a find. Oh, well, it was beautiful, and uh, I, I won't even tell you uh, what I paid for it, but it was nothing. Uh, compared to what it's worth today? Uh, compared to today. I'm and, sure. And uh, then in the 1970s uh, and 80s, my brother and I, uh, we had uh, a small winery in Santa okay. Cruz Mountains. Oh, I love Santa Cruz. Uh, yes. And that's, uh, uh, it, the name of it was Felton Empire in Felton, uh, California. Okay. So uh, uh, we sold it at some point uh, when we sort of ran out of capital as young guys. Got it. And uh, then uh, always wanted to be back in the wine business. And then s saw the neighbors, Clay Shannon in fact, who course, yes. uh, was planting uh, grapes. And uh, I had flown, I uh, uh, was flying in and out of here in my helicopter and I saw him planting uh, the grapes and I thought he maybe uh, was making a big mistake. Uh, and, uh, but after investigating, found that the soil, the climate, the weather, exposure to the sun, the water, all these, the, the hot days and the cold nights, all these things were uh, actually perfect uh, for uh, vineyard. And I have to tell you, Bob gave us a tour earlier today, and he showcased on all of those factors, and it was so impressive the amount of work you guys did yes. before you even planted grapes. You really wanted to make sure that the ground was perfect for that. I Well, that yes, that happened. Uh, first of all, having that experience uh, in the Santa Cruz Mountains with a small winery, uh, we, my brother and I, we knew the importance of uh, quality fruit. You can you cannot make great wine without great fruit. Very and true. Uh, you can make bad wine out of great fruit, but you can't make good wine out of bad fruit. That's so, true. So uh, uh, we knew that that was, had to be a, a factor. And so we called on a company out of St. Helena called Crop Care. Okay. They came up and they investigated. They dug, I think it was 300 uh, uh, soil samples, holes in the ground, uh, wow. five test wells. Uh, we put in a, a bunch of weather stations where we took the temperature every uh, 15 minutes for two years. And then we let these smart kids that work for Crop Care, they're out of Davis. Okay. And they used uh, technology to determine uh, where to plant the different varietals. And I have to tell you, I'm so impressed also with your need as well as your want to protect the animal life on your property as well as these stunning old world oak oaks. Well, yes, when we, uh, you know, we always thought the land and appreciated the, the God's beauty and right. nature here having created just a, uh, uh, a very special place. And so we, we didn't want to lose that. And uh, since we had a, a lot of land, uh, we didn't have to cut down those kinds of things to make it viable. You and, did a great job. Well, thank you. And uh, so that was always a, a, a very big consideration. Mm -hmm. And then as far as building all this, we first of all made sure we could make good wine. And then we said, okay, now that we know that we can make good wine, and it will get better over the years, uh, let's turn our attention to building something special. And so that's what we got. And it truly is. 
Well, what would you say then would be the biggest uh, thing if you were inviting people to come and tour Brassfield as well as Lake County? What would you say are your top two favorite things about Lake County living? Well, uh, Lake County special and always has been uh, to me. It is, uh, it's Napa and Sonoma Valley plus, yes. okay? And, and there's no question about it. Uh, in fact, going back in time, uh, there were more wineries in Lake County than there were in Napa and Sonoma right. County put exactly. together. We were the original wine. We were country. here, and yeah. uh, and uh, you know, along with that, uh, prohibition came, and yes. and then the farmers converted, the grape farmers converted to other things, pears and whatever, mm -hmm. and then uh, the the uh, wine business continued. Uh, in the Napa Valley because the wineries were selling to the Catholic Church and so mm -hmm. that's what kept it alive. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, then uh, it took a, a, a taking years to get back to, uh, we're now up, I don't know, 40 wineries or so in, in Lake County. And then of course I'm partial to this very special little section of Lake County called High Valley and we have some very special things going on here with the, wa with the weather uh, with our water, with the extremely cold nights and hot days. We have 50 degree temperature swings a day during Beautiful. during the growing season, which okay. is unheard of. So and I will say, as a Bay Area girl, right. and my husband being from Sonoma County, one of the things we most enjoy about Lake County living is our beautiful evening climate because it cools off to that beautiful 70, 75 degrees. Right. You can sit out and have a glass of wine with your friends, yes, enjoy yes. the cool breeze during the evening. It's well, quite stunning. Yes, yeah. and now where in the, in the Bay Area down there where you So from? I grew up in Concord and Antioch. Concord and, and my Antioch. My husband in Runner yes. Park. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, those so, are beautiful places too. They are. Yeah, my home, uh, my main home has always been in the Santa Cruz Mountains in Los Gatos. Beautiful. Yeah, and Love so Santa Cruz. still have a home there, and then we spend a lot of time here. Of course. Very nice. Yeah. Well, again, Jerry, thank you so much for the opportunity to interview you today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, we are hoping to truly showcase Lake County and your beautiful Brussels. Well, country. thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, and uh, and thank you for taking time to come out. Absolutely.